Hello everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. It's a beautiful early morning tide. Just gone 6 a.m. The sun's only just come up and I'm gonna head round to the beach, hopefully to find some beautiful Jurassic fossils. Let's go. The very first find of the day is quite a common one. Around this area you can get these heavily piratised, fossilised bivalve shells. Really nice to see, but not something that I collect. However, I'm sure some people would absolutely love them. And there's also very small impressions of ammonites washed up alongside it. The very first ammonite nodule of the day today. be a nice one on the inside of it. I'll take this one back to crack open. So there's a super promising looking nodule here laying amongst the shingle and look at that little belmite fragma cone. It's tiny. But this is the nodule. I'm hoping it's not been cracked open already and it'll be a full one. Oh yes. A little bit crushed on that side so I guess this will be the side to pop it open on. A partial Elegantiferous ammonite here. The rest of the ammonite has been worn away. Not found that much today, but there is a really nice pyrotized Tactiliosaurus on the floor here. Nice and complete example. So there must have been a little bit of cliff movement because there's quite a few ammonites in this little area. So if you look on the floor here, you'll see they're all fresh out looking ones. So there's this nice keel here, which looks half decent. Another keel on the floor, that's a decent one. One here. Really good keel. And another nodule here, which doesn't seem to have anything of a maybe in that middle there but three little ducks in this one area quite productive so this is pretty interesting there's a few little fern fossils wearing out of this sandstone slab which is loose on the beach now i've just had a look next to it and on this even bigger sandstone slab there's loads of them you can see the really fine but quite detailed prints which is pretty much all across the slab. I'd love to have found a fresh one which is carryable, but look at the detail. Very cool to see. So the fossil pickings are not exactly brilliant today, so I'm gonna pick up tomorrow at a different beach and hopefully it'll be more productive. Hi everybody, it's now part two. It's a different day and I'm at a completely different beach. So hopefully the finds will pick up today. Really nice split on this Hildosaurus ammonite. I've already looked at what's inside and it's an absolute beauty. There's a beautiful big looking Dactyloceros inside this big it's full of pyrite by the look of it. At least the edges of it are. I'm going to give it a tap. I don't usually have much luck with these ones. Usually they just crack through the ammonite. So it's revealed even more of the ammonite running right around the edge. So I'm hoping a tap will take this bit off. So it's opened. However, there's still the middle covered. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos and you'd like to see more in the future, please remember to hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. Thank you. Poking out of this large nodule, 
I'm going to try and get my chisel in and see if I can pop it off. Not too bad at all. Half of what could be a nice little fern fossil. I'm going to try and tap here with my hammer and I'm hoping it will reveal the rest of the little plant fern if I'm very lucky. And there it is. Really fragile, in fact you can see me rubbing my finger across it has actually removed some of the black bits which is carbon I think could be wrong with that one if you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast please check out my website called buyafossil.com I've got a bunch of prepared ammonites and fossil bone available for sale I've also got unopened ammonite nodules that you can have shipped to your own house please take a look if you are interested thank you so there's a bellamite on this shale slab here and you can see it's definitely seen much better days and there's also the impressions of another three which were on the same slab which are pretty much long gone. So I've just given this rock a tap, no signs of ammonites at all and it's revealed a really nice pyrotized keel on the edge there so that can go straight in my bag. So there's definitely one inside there and also by my feet just laying exactly like this there's a really nice middle of one the tide has definitely popped that it must have been in quite a soft nodule very recently as well because otherwise it would have been quite worn in this area especially sometimes ammonites gather in the same area they get pushed there by the tide and I've spotted a few in this little area here and they're literally a few inches away from each other here there's one and that's a complete full one another one in there which I'm going to tap with my hammer and a smaller one probably a little bit more worn as well so there's three and that's just what I've spotted I'm sure there'll be more what I can't see on camera I have created a group on Facebook where people can share pictures and videos of their fossil finds from the Whitby area. I want it to be a friendly group for people to get help with their fossil hunting and also receive identifications on their finds. I would love to see you all join. I'll put a link in the video and also in the comments. Thank you. I'm going to give this one a tap because there is a crack running around it. So I've not got very much hope for it, but you just never know. Let's see how it's gone. A lot of these are quite sticky from this particular area. Yeah, so it has taken away some of the bits, but it saves me carrying it back. So I think I've spotted a nice little bit of ichthyosaur bone on the floor. Let's go have a look at it. It looks like a vertebra on the front, and I'm hoping there'll be room for a few more. Oh yes, it's coming around the other side. There's probably two in there. But there, that's really cool. Nice little find and a little rib on the side. That should be so easy to prep as well. One for me to have a go at. I can already see quite a nice beach popped duck. This one's been out for a little bit longer than the other one that I found. It's still really nice and worth taking. There's a bit of rock covering the very centre. So I guess that could just clean out. So that's a bit of a shame, it's a phylloceros, but it's just worn away all of the side. Pretty gutted about that one. And a duck. Now that is how I like to find them. Look at that hilloceros. 
poking out of there. Now should I go for a split or should I take it back? Now that's the question. Okay, so you can't see it but I'll show you the finished product at the end. And it already looks like it's split really well. You can see the crack what's run down the side of it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh yes. That is a beauty. An absolutely gorgeous Bellamite Fragmacone that I've just cracked open. I'm just going to take the positive and I'll leave the negative but that should be easy to clean up just needs this little side bit of rock removing now it's time to make my way back across the beach to where I'm parked before the tide comes in so the very last one from me today this beautiful looking Peronoceros which is complete right to the very mouth border which is about here that should be an absolute beauty. What a way to round off the day. A very successful fossil hunt today. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.